Hello and welcome to showcasing my entire shirt collection 2023 edition. I'm here at Elland Road. What a place to be doing it. It's an honor, a huge thanks to Leeds for letting me do this. Being at the club I support to do this video is, is mental. So a huge thanks to them for doing this. If you do enjoy this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. We have a lot of shirts to get through. We break this down into different sections, starting with each league, showcasing some of them through it. I'm not gonna talk about every shirt in detail and also some of the shirts might be missing from this because I just might have happened to leave some at home. They might be in the wash, but most of my shirts are gonna be here, nearly 300-ish. So let's do that. Let's get into the first section, which is the Bundesliga. First one to start with is the Stuttgart Pride goalkeeper shirt. Some of those are limited edition released a few years ago. I really like it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's decent. The Bundesliga section is actually probably the smallest section we have. As you saw the little montage bit there, we've sort of condensed down the collection quite a bit and we're moving it into more match worn. I say condensed, we've got like 300 plus shirts here, which is just very hard to get from Norwich to Leeds. Not too easy. Next up, in my opinion, one of the best Dortmund shirts of all time, um, the black 90s away shirt. The thing is as well, people are gonna be expecting me to show my Dortmund blackout shirt in this video, which doesn't exist anymore. I sold it to a man in Qatar because he offered me a lot of money, so that one's gone. This training top, people love. I love it as well. It does slightly bother me. If you look overlaid on the screen, you can see the badge isn't parallel in the center. Like it's just been like put over the print, which is nice, but it is a really cool shirt. One of the best training tops of all time. Very good. Final one to discuss is the brand new in bag Dortmund shirt as well. Never been taken out of the bag by anyone, not even me. I've left it in the bag the whole time I've had it and I'll stay in the bag for now. So I don't really know. Move on to Lee Gun. Ligon is a very interesting section here. We've got quite a few incredible shirts in this. I really love some of the Ligon shirts we have, especially this PSG brand new tag shirt. I got this shirt and to be honest, it went straight in a Ziploc bag. I've never really had the chance to appreciate it. And I think that's why I'm trying to condense the collection down now, because I really am trying to make sure the shirts I have, I can appreciate, which is why I'm getting more and more match worn shirts because I know I never wear them, but at least I can appreciate them for the the impact they had on football. In fact, they're actually worn in the game and not by me. Next up with the PSG, another PSG shirt. All three I want to talk about and highlight this time are PSG. We've got this iridescent badge. You can see it overlaid on your screen. It is unbelievable. I think this is the best a badge has ever looked on a football shirt, in my opinion. And the Nike tick looks really cool as well. It just looks so, so sick. I love this shirt so much. And also genuinely, just I know we're doing it at Leeds and it's an honor to work, with, work at the stadium of the club I love, but this is maybe the best shirt released this season, maybe. Definitely. Final one I'll talk about is the number 11. This is vintage PSG. The vintage PSG is just unbelievable. A piece of football history this one is with the old Nike tick there. It is another piece of fabric that I'm too scared to wear, but it is just unbelievable. One of, I think, PSG's best shirts of all time. One of the most iconic French league shirts of all time as well. And we've got it in the collection. There is my current league gun collection. Obviously we've got jackets and sweats from this league as well. We'll talk about them in their own section. Let's move on to the next section, which is Syria. Syria, quite a few things to talk about, starting with the 1920 Inter Milan third shirt with the iconic Pirelli sponsor on there. It is just an unreal shirt. Just that is, I, I've spoken about it too many times on the channel now. Um, another shirt from the same season is the Roma third shirt from that season, or the away shirt, sorry. Roma's away shirt from that season. It is, or is it the third shirt? Oh, I've just gone kit blind at this point. It is an unreal shirt. Brand new with tags as well, size medium. I should probably detag it one day as it's one I will wear. It seems one of the best shirts of the modern era. Speaking of one of the best shirts of the 90s, is Roma shirt as well. Screams Francesco Totti. Was he even at the club at that point? Who knows, who knows? Someone in the comment section will know, not me. This one, Gianluigi, Gianluigi Buffon. Um, also, Ellis wore it on his Instagram when he ate a chimney cake that time. So there's also similar sorts of fame for the shirt there. It is an unreal shirt, it just is, it is special. What a special shirt that is. And speaking of a special one as well, I've now got the full set from this season. 
It is the away. Someone's getting a haircut. It's the away shirt there, brand new with tags. We're going to talk through the haircut. It is. I'm gonna, I can't keep calling shirts unreal, but I can and I will and I shall. Next up, we have someone I haven't spoken about on the channel before. It is the Fiorentina Nintendo training shirt I have in long sleeve. It's not quite as rare as the Mario one, but it is definitely notable to talk about still. It is just an unreal shirt. Um, a very cool one for the collection. It's a bit more common, like I said, than the Mario one itself, but it's still very cool. Another shirt that is um, slightly uncommon is this Fiorentina shirt, which has Zico's number on the back. The problem is the zero is upside down for the 10, which is something that I didn't notice for a while, but the zero is actually definitely upside down. <laughs> and the final shirt to talk about is, of course, the Fiorentina banned football shirt. We did a whole video of getting this one, brand new with tags, size small. It was banned for a certain logo being on there with a not so nice man, if you're not familiar with who that could be. Google will help answer that one. Let's move on to La Liga. The Liga section is basically almost like a messy section at this point. It is a lot of good shirts, a lot of messy shirts in here. I'm sat amongst some. Ones I want to talk about really is, first of all, is the Andres Iniesta Infinity shirt, as you can see overlaid on your screen. I think it's forgotten just how great he was. Like he was and is the best playmaker to ever play the game, in my opinion. And that Iniesta Infinity shirt, like tributing his career, everything he did in it is just unreal to me. Next up, I want to talk about Messi's debut few shirts. We've got the one with 19 on the back of, as you can see overlaid as well. The number 19 on the back of Messi is a shirt number you just didn't really see anymore. And then moving on from that one, the 0405 away shirt with the number 30 for Messi on the back as well is a shirt that is just going to be forever looked back on as one of the best shirts from his career. You obviously then going back and wearing the 30 again at PSG. It's an iconic time for the club. Obviously Ronaldinho is well known from being there as well. But for me, them three are the ones I really wanted to talk about from my La Liga section. Obviously we've got a few other La Liga items, um, another messy one to talk about in the final bit, but for now, this is the current La Liga collection. Let's move on to Leeds and Porto. Next up, Leeds and Porto. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is the Porto. That'll be fine. I don't mind. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. <laughs> first up on the Leeds and Porto section is this Porto third shirt. I think it is one of the great examples of a really good modern shirt, and you can still make original, very good modern shirts still with original ideas. I think it's just it's great. Uh, next up, I want to talk about the. Um, the lead shirt, the famous Shaboa shirt, it's iconic for being worn by Yaboa. I, of course, picked up in the Japan football shirt hunting video. That collar is sick. The fact that it's in medium is sick. The fact that it's long sleeve is sick. I love that shirt so much. Also got the Leeds 80s shirt. Obviously, we, re we released that with um, in a similar ilk, the Adidas release from last season, but I really like it. It's just, and I've got, I think I've got it in a mystery box, maybe, but it's one of my favorite lead shirts of all time. We don't really have that many amazing shirts, really. Like that one is a big standout for me. Next up is another shirt I want to talk about is the Porto Warrior Danilo shirt I've got over there with a the camouflage print. One, it's a really good shirt, and two, it is the first ever shirt I purchased from Classic Football Shirts. And um, you can get 10% off there. I've used code away days at checkout. And finally, the mental Leeds goalkeeper shirt, as you can see overlaid on screen. I love it so much. As I said with other sections, there's obviously more Leeds and Porto stuff to talk about when we get to the end section. But for now, these other Leeds and Porto shirts that didn't quite make the cut to be in the best section, but I still love them very much. And I love the clubs very much. Let's move on to the rest of the world section.
rest of the world, this is a hefty section. I tell you what, it's nice looking back at this and seeing like the shirts have accumulated over the years. Some of these I haven't looked at in a while. And there's a lot of shirts here that have been sent to us from clubs around the world, which is really cool as well. I want to start off by talking about the two away day shirts are both here. Should probably release another one of them soon. I, I am. It's just, it's a, it's just, yeah, that's what's happening. I'm going to release an away day shirt soon. Stay tuned. This shirt is one that when it was released, the um, Atletico Mineiro Manto de Massa shirt, everyone was like, oh, that's going to be a classic. And I think it is, but it did take nearly a year to turn up. But it's got a globe on there, which is nice, I guess. I'm not as big on it as everyone else is, I don't think. I, I like it. I just don't think it's one of the best shirts of all time, like some people seem to think. Now, this one I actually think does deserve the accolades it gets. It's the AIK Royal Edition shirt. Only 360 of these made, I believe. It is just, the detailing on there is unreal. The navy, the gold, the box it arrives in as well. I haven't got the box with me as well because I could barely fit all of these in my car as it was. But the shirt itself, very nice. More J-League, Jubilo Iwata. I got this one in a video I did on the J-League channel, hunting around one of the best football shirt shops in the world in Japan, and the vintage sports one there. I don't know if they have actually put the video live. I hope they did, because if not then, you know, it's a bit of a waste of everyone's time there. I got the shirt though. Very nice, this Jubilo Iwata one. Next one, we're gonna to have to go with images. We've got a brand new in bag Corinthians Senna tribute shirt. It is, once again, in this section, we've got some incredible shirts. And this one wasn't even good enough to make it in the last section, for my opinion, anyway. It is the Senna Corinthian shirt. It is so, so cool. I haven't took it out of the bag, and I don't think I ever will. It's a, a proper treasure piece of the collection. I don't really know much about racing, other than I'd win all of them if you put me on the track. Next up, we'll talk about the Bruce Banana shirt. I talk about it in every re recap video I do. I've got a Bruce Banana shirt because my granddad gave it to me and I'll never get rid of it because of that, even though I have no interest in any other Premier League team other than Leeds. We're not a Premier League team. <laughs> any other English team other than Leeds. From the Legion Eyes Directors Lounge, let's do the international shirts, starting with England's Euro 1996 goalkeeper shirt. It is just, ah, uh, it is a stupendous delicacy. It's like jelly deals. I didn't like them, I tried them once for a BBC thing that, for some reason I had to try jelly deals for an audio podcast. I feel like it was a prank. Uh, next up we have another England shirt, another fantastic goalkeeper shirt as well. Just uh, unreal. Just uh, Cal Freezy in the shirt shop in episode in which I wore, he said it wasn't good. Is it in the horrendous category? That's absolutely horrendous. You think uh, so? That is really, really, really bad. But I just, I just, I don't, it's shush, all right? Shush. Nothing redeeming about that shirt at all. Next up, Argentina's Copper America shirt with Messi on the back. It is with all the badges and everything sleeved up and I spent a lot of money to get it because it's like, well, it's only going to be his only international trophy because I thought we were going to win the World Cup. Wrong on both fronts. The Romania Euro 96 away shirt with Hadji on the back. Picked this one up in the hunting round a football shirt warehouse video. Or what was it, the big, the big market we did. We got that shirt there and I think it was um, a good shirt. I banged my head on one of the lights in here as well, like where the directors all sit. Like this is where the owners for Leeds sit during a game or like the, oh, I just bang my head on the wall. One of the best international shirts of all time, in my opinion, is this France shirt. It is. Unbelievable, it's like a Platini special, a Michel Platini, however you pronounce his name. Um, probably not Platini, like I just did there. It's the Ventex Adidas, it is just, ah, oh, the huge badge. Everything about it is very, 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 very nice. Sometimes shirts get released and at the time I instantly can tell it's a classic, like already. And this Norway Away shirt was the definition of that. And even more so with the fact that I've got Haaland on the back of it. I paid a lot of money to get it with Haaland on the back. It's gonna be so sought after in future years, especially with his name on the back. It is just the Ice Cube shirt. It is 
un Believable. Next up is my Brazil 1970s shirt with Zico on the back. It is just mad. It's still mad. It's mad considering this one that was it's in the exact same condition I bought it in, which for me is actually quite impressive with my history. This Denmark 1986 shirt, right, is great. And it is great. It's one of the most iconic shirts. Of all. Don't remake it. Don't just remake it and plaster it. It's so lazy, Hummel. Don't do that. I love the shirt and you can see it on your screen. And it's, but you, what you've done there is, you've ruined that for me, because I had the original. That was the point of it. Iconic shirts, stay iconic. Remake it as like a reissue. Of Don't give it to clubs. What are you doing? And the final international shirt I'm talking about, usually it would be in the best section, but I'd like to think we can switch things up now if other, the collection has changed. You might, like I said, notice some shirts are missing. I'm switching the collection around quite a bit. You can buy some shirts from me on whatnot. I've sold some big ones on there and some small ones. This Mexico 1997 shirt is just, it is just, yeah, it's just, it is just chef's kiss, isn't it? It is very, 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 very good. The 1998 shirt is more iconic. This one is slightly different. I don't know if it's rare or not. I'm not going to comment on that. It's just one of the best football shirts of all time. Moving on from shirts, we're going to do the hoodies and sweatshirts section. I always do it every year. Let's go to the hoodies and sweatshirts. I'll do this from home because there are so many of them. We'll rattle through them. So, hello, Ellis. Hoodies and sweatshirts. Had to do this not at Ellen Road because there was just so many and we didn't have enough time to do it. So we're going to do hoodies and sweatshirts here. Just before we get into that, a reminder, you can buy football shirts from me over on Whatnot. I'm live there three times a month and if you use my link at the top of the description, you get £10 completely free just for using my link. And also every single stream, I give away £150 completely free. Three different £50 vouchers to use on any football shirt website of your choice in my Whatnot streams. All you have to do to get involved is just come and watch the streams. It's very simple. My current scheduled ones will be in the link in the description. Just bookmark them, give me a follow on there, and then I'll tweet out, I'll go on Instagram when I'm about to go live. I am also gonna be selling a sizable amount of my shirt collection now for different reasons. Uh, elephant in the room, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, there, there's gonna be some sold on there. So. If you want some of these amazing shirts that are in my own collection as well, now's the time to do it while I'm at, you know, rock bottom. <laughs> Huge thanks to WhatNot once again for sponsoring me and allowing me to just do this really weird job I do. So check them out at the top of the description and get £10 free if you sign up using my link. Make sure to use my link to do so and you can use that on any item on the app as well. It doesn't just have to be with me. And I'll see you over on WhatNot very soon. Let's talk about these sweatshirts and hoodies. I grew up in a small little village With hardly anybody in it Then I took a trip to a city But it's too busy for me I took flight when I caught that plane Lost my mind, misplaced this brain Should've slowed down, should've stayed in my lane Cause now I just lay here saying Oh my gosh, I'm taking Alfie about 15 years to edit, I'm sorry. Go back, back to Ellen Road. <laughs> Just to interject here, this is a section called Ellis didn't realise he had another box full of match-worn shirts at home, so here you go. Match-worn Rafinha lead shirt with this amazing signature on the back as well. Legend. Match-worn Crescencio Somerville lead shirt from the game against Man City last season. He only played about 10 minutes, but he is unbelievable. What a shirt. Match-worn Jack Harrison shirt from the game against Fulham last season, which Tosin Adarabayo gave me. What a man, legend. Match worn George Cox Fortuna Sittard shirt. And then another match worn George Cox Fortuna Sittard shirt. What a hero. Match worn Noel Gallagher Oasis shirt. If you don't know the story behind that, someone in the comments will let you know. Match worn Patrick Bamford shirt from the game against Sheffield United, sent to us by Aaron Ramsdale. What a man. Match worn Calvin Phillips shirt from the game against Sheffield United that we got from Aaron Ramsdale as well. What a man. Match worn Juan Mata shirt that we got from David Norris in the Buying Footballers Collections video. Very nice. This incredibly cool match worn Anthony shirt, Ajax, a very, very sought after shirt. One that is amazing. Given to us both um, in a trade with George Cox. What a man, what a shirt that is. And the final one from George Cox, this match-worn David Neres Ajax shirt as well from a game against Fortuna Sittard. What a legend he was. Back to you at Ellen Road again. 
Ellis. So we're into the best section now. Hoodies and sweatshirts was quite good, but I did also need to show, talk about something in some more detail. This Dortmund Di Continental uh, 90s sweatshirt is very nice. It's got a bit of paint at the bottom. It's paint, grow up. Next up, we have the PSG sweatshirt. I love this one when it was first released. It is worn by Anthony Pembele, but it's very, very cool indeed and i love it i think the design is so sick it's a shame it wasn't released as a sweatshirt to fans you can only get it if you got the player issued version which i did and spent way too much money to do this item was from the football shirt hunting porto edition of course it's just it's oh, just a oh, what a jacket speaking of porto and adidas items we have this sweatshirt i don't think i've ever spoken about this on the channel ever this sweatshirt is unbelievable one of the best items i own by far the neckline is slightly baggy, but other than that, it's just look at it. Look at it, look at it now, it's gonna move. This sweatshirt is honestly probably the most piece of football clothing that's most synonymous with me at this point. This England sweatshirt is the one I get most, most questions about ever. Um, and I love it. I also realized I should have spoke about the Fiorentina 7-Up jacket, but I've spoken about that jacket so many times. I've still got the Fiorentina 7-Up jacket, all right? I, I don't need to show it again, I've shown it in 500 different videos. Next up is a very recent edition, the most recent addition to my collection is the Messi jacket from last season. It is worn slash issued, I can't imagine they issued many to each player. Number 30, Lionel Messi, his jacket from last season, a nice subtle way to end that road trip in which we nearly died. This section we've got a lot of stuff to talk through, it is my favourite section. I'm going to start off with some match worns. Here we go with a rail, an LA Galaxy match worn for Gonzalez, I've spoken about this one on the channel as well. It is very cool. Um, we've got the proof of it being worn with it. We've also got the uh, very cool logo on the front. We've got dirt marks on there as well, which are very cool too. Next up is another item that I'm really, I, said, I spoke about this being like a shirt investment I made. It is a Ricardo Pepe FC Dallas match worn shirt. Obviously his first season really breaking into first team football was with FC Dallas. He's now got to move um, over to PSV, I believe. He's a great player. Really happy with this one in the collection. It's match worn and signed by Pepe. Very, very cool. Very happy with that shirt. Another one that I don't really think I spoke about is the River Plate Bruce Banana version of, like the River Plate's version of the Bruce Banana, basically. It is, I mean, it's slightly battered this one, but it's such a rare shirt. I couldn't miss out on the opportunity to pick it up when I saw it was on sale. I don't, just look at it. It is better than the Arsenal one. It is. Nagoya Grand Bassay, the most, one of the most iconic badges of all time. Gary Lineker, you've heard the story a thousand times. You can see the shirt overlaid on your screen. It is a beauty, an absolute beauty. Napoli, Marcelo Ballon, one of the releases Napoli have done in the last few years, which I had to pick up. It is, oh, it is one of the 500 releases they've done, but this one is fusing fashion and football in a way that I think more brands should do it. It is not inoffensive. It's really cool. Like it, like it a lot. It's cold, Alfie. I can't not talk about this one, can I, in this section. The Fiorentina Mario training shirt. Um, still can't believe I own it. I still look at it every day and think, this is what made me want to start shirt collecting. It's mythical and it's here forever. Unless someone offers me like a million pounds, then I'd, I'd sell it for that, I reckon. Another quiet pickup for the collection was this Oliver Torres match worn shirt. Um, don't know the exact game from his time at Porto, but that first season he had at Porto was just unbelievable. And to have a match worn shirt from him is very, very cool. Speaking of very, very cool, the Dortmund Ipswich template. Um, one of the rarest Dortmund shirts of all time, easily. To say we've got this in the collection in long sleeves as well with the number eight on the back. I've never seen one actually go to sale. So, and I was adamant it was gonna be fake at the time and it just, it just wasn't somehow. This is another shirt that I didn't really get a chance to show on the channel. It's a match-worn San Marino shirt from Lunadai from the time I was the mascot for Slovenia. Uh, they told us that we couldn't show me doing it. UEFA got annoyed at us for doing it because like, we went into the tunnel as the mascot and started asking for shirts. <laughs> but we got one, Juventus Palace collab. I've spoken about this enough on the channel as well, but it is just timeless. It is timeless. It is unbelievable. I love it. I think it's so, it is a Juventus shirt as well. It doesn't take away from being a Juventus shirt. It's still doing the core purpose of the collab, but I think it pulls it off really nicely. Bayern Munich 1980s match worn slash issued shirt. The reason we believe it was worn, we got this from Mezek after starting with the football shirt hunt in Hungary edition. We believe it's match worn because just the way you see the number overloading the screen as well, like stitched into there, like you just couldn't get that as a fan back then. Holland 1988. Van Basten on the back. Do we need to really go into too much detail over this one? We've got a whole video dedicated to it. 
I just, it's the, you know, it's the, it is the foot, most iconic football shirt of all time, isn't it? Oh, stop it, Ellis. Um, the Sonic the Hedgehog Jeff United sponsorship shirt. There is a lot of fakes of this out there and there's a lot of modern recreations of it. It is an original for me, provided to me from the J League. Like I know it's fully legit my one as well with the Sonic sponsor in such good condition as well. It is so hard to find it, especially in this condition. It is just an absolute footballing treasure. England's Italia 93rd shirt, just it just is world in motion, isn't it? The music video for world in motion is what this shirt is always gonna be remembered for being part of. It is just, it's just, it's just, it's just this shirt collection is when you do this video, I do this video, I took years to do this video again because I was so terrified of having to get them all out again. And like transport them six hour round, like seven hour round trip. And they're just, I love, I love that this is my hobby. I love it. I, I adore this is my hobby. We've got the Jesus Navas Sevilla match worn shirt, a World Cup winner, a Euros winner, and he handed me the match worn shirt off his back on camera as well, which is just, ah, oh, that is, one of the best moments I've ever had in shirt collecting that. That is just unbelievable. Get down there, Jesus. This shirt is in this section. It's my match worn platen shirt <laughs> from when I played here and I scored at the Don Revy stand. I scored at Ellen Road and I wore this shirt and then went and got platen on the back. I never thought, when I first started YouTube, I never dreamed that I would ever be able to, even probably like back then, afford a train ticket or a ticket to watch Leeds. And I was stood at Elland Road with a club I love. Like, that is such a sick, just what has happened. Like, thank you all for allowing my hobby to become just insanity. Um, shut up, Ellis. One of the first big purchases I ever did on this channel is the Fiorentina 7-Up reserve match-worn shirt. Um, we spoke about it, like I said, with some other ones a lot, but it's quite a big, bit sentimental to me. I spent £150 on it at the time, and I remember thinking that was a huge, stupid investment. I think I've been quite... Um, proven right with how it's sort of gone up in value since then. FC Porto, 90s match worn with a huge number five on the back. Guy, you should have made that a bit bigger, lads. The Hertha Berlin shirt is one I get asked about so often with the bear on it. And the irony of this one is like, it was really readily available when it first came out. It was, it was always a special edition of kit, so it's very rare. And you, don't, you never see them come on sale again now, but they, I bought this for 25 pound. It got reduced on sale then. And now like sites will be selling it for like 200 quid. Like it's just one of them, like a great example of just that shirts. Today's price is not tomorrow's price. Next up we have the two Nations League um, supposedly sold match worn shirts. We've also got Jan Vertonghen, Thibaut Courtois supposed match worn Euro 2020 shirt as well. This one divided opinions when I got it is the Montpellier Lion Bar sponsor. You can see that on your screen right The Lion Bar sponsor, I still stand by it, looks insane. Paul Gascoigne's England 1990s training shirt. Well, we, we still have that. I got sent the photo of the guy with Paul Gascoigne after we got given it to him. So I, I do presume it is Paul Gascoigne's. You can't be 100% sure because you never saw it got taken off Paul Gascoigne's back. But for me, it, it, it is, you know, it makes me sleep night, at night better thinking it definitely is. Succession is just one of the best shows ever made. And to be said, to say weirdly that I got to be a part of the promo for the third season, with the shirt, it's just ridiculous. Like there's only two of these shirts ever made to, uh, to commemorate the fact that um, that they bought um, they bought hearts when he's actually a Hibs fan. It's good banter. The Bala, this is another shirt that we spoke about a lot on this channel. The Keep Calm and Tutti Albarbera Palma shirt, Palermo shirt, sorry, with Dybala on the back. I've said it several times, but Dybala Palermo shirts are so hard to come by. And to get one that's Issues slash worn by him is just, just a whole nother level. Speaking of a whole nother level, this, I still stand by it, is one of the best football shirts of all time. And it's actually top five. It is this Adidas. I love the collar. I love the collar on it as a fan. I can imagine as a player, you're not gonna enjoy that. But this Rangers shirt is just ridiculous. It's an utter, it's a complete and utter joke. The famous banned China shirt with the dragons all over it. It should have, it should have just, I don't ban it. Like it was just unbelievable. What a shirt, what a shirt. I can't believe they banned it. It would have gone down as one of the best international shirts. I mean, it is still technically, it's probably maybe more infamous now, but for me, one of the best international shirts ever made. The Louis Vuitton one is what I call it because it, well, it is, it's the PSU Louis Vuitton shirt. I had this in a medium and sold it for some reason, but kept the XL. Um, it was never officially done with Louis Vuitton, but it is, it, it is. we all know what it is, that we all know. The Porto Dragon shirt. Oh, it's just, a, it's lovely, look at it, it's lovely, it is lovely, it is lovely. The Kappa Porto shirts in the 90s were just a joke. Like, 
a chalk. I actually think in terms of talking of the best football shirt of all time that was ever worn by a team, this one is it's always going to be this. The iconic sponsor, the yellow playing off the purple on the sleeves, it's always going to be this for me. It's always, always going to be this. Unreal. Carrying on for that Jesus Navas shirt we spoke about earlier is of course the Ben White shirt that Aaron Ramsdale gave to me off of Ben White's back from that Emirates Cup game. Being at Elland Road here, you know, a place that he um, did so well being a Leeds fan, it is, it's very cool to have in the collection, even if him, he's gone and will never come back. Mum's not watching this, but if she was, it would, it would apply to you. The Alan Clark shirt, Leeds United legend, obviously, his England match-worn shirt from 1970. It has got a lot of staining on there now, and I try my best to keep it in as good a condition as I can. It's in this, it's always in air conditioning. It is clinging on in there. And the final two items to talk about, I think you are anyone who's been around the channel for a while will know what the answer is gonna be. We're gonna start with the Erling Haaland photo shoot worn shirt, signed for him, probably the last time he ever wore the number 17 for Dortmund as well, a very iconic shirt. Uh, I've had offers for this one, um, none of them in the region I want to accept, but this is one that if a, the right offer came in, maybe one day I probably would sell. This is cool that it's worn by him in a photo shoot, probably the last time he wore the number 17. Um, a very cool shirt, considering like he's just, what, the, this is a joke what he's doing already. It's a joke. He's only going to do better as well. It is unreal. And the final item, oh, I wonder what it could be, is of course the match worn Messi shirt, an item I never get tired of talking about, an item I never get tired of showing. It is the best thing any YouTuber in the world owns. It just is, it is. It is a shirt worn by the greatest footballer of all time. And in turn, does it make him the best athlete of all time? I'm sure the comment section are gonna enjoy that. It is just absolutely unbelievable. The rain's coming down at Ellen Road. This is like a full, full circle moment, isn't it really? It really is. This has been showcasing my shirt collection 2023 edition. I, like I said, it's an honor just to, what are we doing anymore? Like, I know I keep saying that and it's like, what are we doing? Like this is, the club I love, the ground I love the most in the world. It just is unbelievable to be here. Like, I'm incredibly grateful for the leads, the opportunity. Make sure to check out the social channels in the description. Uh, make sure to check out Whatnot in the description as well. A huge thank you for supporting me, for to allow me to do these stupid things. So I've been Alice and see you very soon for more football show content. Hopefully you guys can stop pestering me through this video again. And more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye.